like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 63 is a summation problem. It says, if the sum of the terms of this sequence a sub n, uh, the first, if you add up the first 10 terms, it equals 50. So what is the value of this expression? So first, um, let me just talk briefly about this notation here. So if I have the sum from 1 to n, so basically what this is saying is, uh, we want to add up a bunch of terms. This a sub n is talking about some sequence that we, we don't know what it is. Oops. Um, we don't know what this sequence is, but it's just going to be a list of numbers. Okay? And what this big E looking thing is, it's actually a Greek letter sigma, and what it's indicating is that we want to add up the terms in that sequence. So you'll have some sequence, let's say it's the first 10 numbers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and, uh, and just keeps going. 11, 12, 13. What this is saying is we want to add up, that's what the sigma means, all of the values starting from the first term to the last term. So the number on bottom that you see, that's going to be the value of the first term, okay? This is going to be the first term. And then, see the 10 on top, that's going to be the last term. It's going to be the 10th term. And so we just want to add up all the terms from the first term to the 10th term. Now we have a little bit of an issue here. Um, yeah, so this first term, that's going to be the first, well, uh, you know, it, most of the time it'll start with n equals 1 or n equals 0 or something like that, but it could start with anything. In this case, it'd be the first because we see a 1 here. Okay, so we got the first term and last term, so we want to add up the first 10 terms of the sequence. Now, we don't know what the sequence is, but we know that the sum is 50. So whatever those numbers happen to be, you add them all up, you get 50. So this is asking, what is the sum of this sequence? Okay, so we have the sum of 4 a sub n. So a sub n, that's the sequence that we talked about earlier, plus 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply um, some properties of... Oh, whoa, 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 too high. Now we're moving all over the place here. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, so what we want to do is we want to apply some properties of this sigma notation. So the first thing is, is that you can kind of split this up, okay? So this would be the equal to the sum of 4 a sub n plus the sum from 1 to 10, it's going to be the same sigma here, uh, of 3. So basically we can split this up and just add the two sums. The other thing we can do is if you have the sum of a sequence and you're multiplying that sequence by a constant, you can pull out that constant and multiply it after you find the sum. So I'm going to rewrite this one more time, except I'm going to pull out that 4. It's kind of like factoring out that 4. I'm going to put it out over here. Really don't need parentheses around here. I just wanted to throw them in the first time just so you can kind of see, oh, well, wow, there we go. Kind of see what's, what's happening with this kind of splitting up. So see, first we kind of split this up, the addition, applying the sigma to each one. Then we pulled this 4 out. I neglected to delete it from the inside, so let's go ahead and delete that. So this 4 is now over here. Okay. So now what, all we need to do is just actually find the values of these. Now, we, they give us, from the beginning, what the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence a sub n is. So in other words, we already know what this thing right here equals. Right? It equals 50. So this is going to equal 4 times 50 plus whatever this sum is. Now, look at this sequence. There's no variable here. There's no n. It's just 3. So the sequence is just 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3
But basically, what this means is we want to add up 3 plus 3, and we'll have 10 of these. Let me count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, obviously, there's a better way to write this. If I'm adding 10 threes, an easier way of thinking about that is just, well, if I'm adding 10 threes, it's the same thing as just multiplying 10 times 3. And so it'll just make the arithmetic a little easier if you simplify that addition into a multiplication problem. All right, so now all we have to do is just evaluate this. And I would throw this into the calculator. Um, you know, you do get a calculator, so you might as well use it. Although you might not need to. Uh, these numbers are pretty easy to work with. 4 times 50 is going to be 200. 10 times 3 is going to be 30. And so we get 230 is going to be our answer here. Let's hide this, and we do get that it is letter E. And that's it for number 63. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.